What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. As you can see, we have the iPhone right in front of us and what I'm going to be talking about today is how you can edit photos on your iPhone for free, but in a professional way. And there are actually three apps or three ways which I think you should use in order to get the best results for your photos. The first one is going to be the built-in photos app. I mean, it is part of the iOS. It gets updates from Apple. It's going to be optimized the best way for your iPhone. So why not use it when you can? So let's open up the photos app and let's edit one of my thumbnails in here. So you have the edit button in the upper right corner. So I'll go ahead and click on edit. And at the bottom, you can see three sections. I mean, completely at the bottom next to the cancel button. So you have the first one for the lighting. The next one is for filters, which you can apply on the top of it. I'm personally not a fan of filters. I don't think it just adds anything. I mean, it, it's like a default way of doing stuff. I like to tweak every single thing on my own, so I don't really go to filters. And completely on the right, you have the, the uh, resizing and cropping tool. You can mirror the picture if you want. You can rotate it. You can see, do many different things. You can decide how exactly it's going to look so you can make it a square, a wallpaper, you can make it original, landscape, whatever you want. But this is the options or these are all of the options which you can go with. But the most important part is the first one where you can see the lighting so you can adjust the exposure, brilliance, highlight, shadow, contrast, saturations, all the stuff. You can even add a vignette, white or dark. So there are things which you can do inside of this app and many different things which you can do in here. So that's really, really good and you can use it for free. But uh, this is not the only way how you can uh, use or how you can edit videos on your iPhone. Besides that, there are some third party apps which work just as good or even better at some cases. It really depends on what you need. One of the apps is from Google and it's called Snapseed. You can see this is what it looks like. You can download it on the App Store for free. And when you open it up, there are many things which you can notice. So as you can see, I've added this photo right here and I have three buttons at the bottom. I have the looks. So when I click on that, I can only scroll through a bunch of filters. As I said, not a huge fan, but the biggest possibilities appear when I click on the, the tools button. And here there are so many different things which you can play with. There are some things like glamour glow. You can play with the total contrast. You can add vignette, lens blur, double exposure, ex exposure. Yeah, you can of course uh, add a grainy film, play with the ex perspective, the play with the curves. It's really something that you don't have available inside of the basic photos app. So you can play around with it as much as you want. And there are many different tools in here. One of the tools which I really like is called the healing tool. And when I apply the healing tool to something, it just basically gets ri rid of that part. So when I just select it like this, it deletes it or at least tries to replace it by the surrounding area. So in case you have something that you want to get rid of, you can just select it like this and it will, it will try to remove it. So there are plenty of options available within this app. You can see many different tools so you can play with them. And before we move over to the next photo editing app, I'm going to show you one more thing I've been working on. And this is basically what I'm going to show you. It's the video uh, editing course, which is available on my Fox Tech education platform, which you can join for free. Uh, the link is down below. It's for free. You can go ahead and do that. And in the classroom section, you have the video editing course. As of right now, we have the all apps explained course, but more content is coming up in the future. More and more things are going to be added and uploaded here. So definitely join it right now. So you never miss out on all the content, which is going to be there for free. Anyways, to cover or to conclude the video with the last app, I'm going to use the Lightroom, which is from Adobe. And this one is absolutely the best when it comes to color grading. You don't have that many options on any of the apps mentioned before. So in case you want to play with the colors, for example, you pick a photo like this one, you have all the things like presets and all the stuff, brightness, exposure, all the stuff that you need. But when it comes to colors, you have really nice things. So when you click on the color and color mix, you can play individually for all the colors in here and change the hue, saturation and other things 
as much as you like. So that's really, really good. Make sure to, to pay attention to it. I'm going to reconnect my phone right now. So you should be able to see it by the time right now. So again, yes, you can play around with it. You can disable or lower the saturation of the orange color. Or for example, if you click on a green, you can select the green and desaturate it entirely. Now it's a completely different photo. You don't have these capabilities inside of other uh, photo editors and Lightroom is absolutely the best when it comes to editing the colors and color grading pictures. It's absolutely the number one for me. And I'm gonna wrap up this video right now. Hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you never miss future tutorials like this one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.